Hello there guys and in this video we are not going to learn about structures neither something similar to them but about tight def and hash define. So if you remember in my previous videos of this I think the switch case statement where I calculated the area of square and circle or whatever the user wants we used pi I told you that there are two ways to declare a constant one you can do const float or int or whatever you want equal to pi equal to 3.14 and the other way to do the same thing is hash define pi 3.14 so whenever or wherever I write pi in my code it's going to replace it by the 3.14 and in this case, I have taken a slightly complicated example. I have written a mathematical function, fp. So wherever I write fp, it's going to replace it by p star p plus 2. So for example, I write f2 over here. It's going to replace by 2 star 2 plus 2. It's going to calculate it, which is equal to 6. 6. And if I write f3 over here, it's going to replace it by 3 star 3 plus 2 so I'll just write f3 over here so this is the hash define is used for this some whenever you need like a mathematical function query really quickly so you can use this another thing right now we're going to talk about is type def so type def is used to change the types or say the keywords already available in the uh, in the C and to change them to whatever you want so for example, there's this int keyword. I have changed this to integer. This float keyword, I have changed this to decimals. And then I have declared a structure book. Now remember, I, to declare a variable of structures, I have to do it like this. struct book b1, b2, and the way I want to any, any, any variables I want. I can have that but now we are what we can do is we can just type def the struct book type this is one type two books so now to to declare the variable to declare the structure books variable I can just do it like this books b1 b2 b3 so I can just do that and then I can just access b1.x as I have done in the code below. So let's just get to the code. I have used type def to replace int to integer. So what the compiler will do is it will replace by any, anywhere I type integer it will replace by int. So I have done this integer x equal to 10 decimals g is equal to 2.2 .2. books b1 to make the structure variable and I have set b1.x to 15 and then I have just printed everything to show you guys. So I'll just quickly compile it and run it it and run it and as you can see in I didn't type int over here I typed integer so when the compiler came it knew for it it already checked all my type def so it knew whenever I am writing integer I basically mean int whenever I'm writing decimals I basically means float whenever I'm writing books I basically basically mean struct book so it already knew so it replaced all my type definitions by what they were supposed to be. So for example, it will place this integer by int, this decimals by float, this books by struct book, and then the code compiled as usual the way it should have. So this is pretty much type defs and hash defines. You can even use type defs to change your ifs to anything. Anything you want, you can change any keywords you want using type defs. So this is pretty cool and you can use hash define to have some constants or some small mathematical functions like this or some pretty small calculation like this that's that's what you hash define for so if you have any doubts please leave it in the comment section below thanks for watching guys goodbye